find the domain and range of the function graphed below. So the domain is all the values in a graph that uh, are on the x-axis which have an associated y value. So for instance, if I pick 2, 2 has an associated y value. It's right there. If I pick negative 4, negative 4 has an associated y value. It's right there. Negative 2 isn't on the domain because there's no value where the graph actually touches anything at negative 2. So the domain here is just the set of numbers that uh, contain, or the set of x values that contain an associated y value. So in this case, you should be able to see that it is set from negative infinity. And the reason I'm starting at negative infinity instead of negative 5, there's no closed circle or open circle stopping us right there. So we just have to assume that it's going off to infinity in that direction. So negative infinity to negative 2, but not including negative 2. And then we have another portion of the graph that goes from negative 2 off to positive infinity. The range is similar. So the range is all of the y values that have an associated x. So if I pick negative 2 on the y, it has a value here that's associated on the x. So it runs into the graph somewhere. So if you check all those y values, the set that you should come up with is the set of values from negative infinity up to positive 2 this time, and then from 2 to positive infinity. Now another way to think about this is if you are able to smash everything up in the graph against the x-axis or smash everything up against in the graph up against the y-axis, then you could determine the domain and range from the resulting sets there. So here's a graph that's similar to the one that was in the problem. And what I want you to see is if I take the graph and I smash everything up against the x-axis. So for instance, if I had this uh, ability to crush the entire graph so that, or just press it down to the x-axis, then the resulting set is the domain. So these are all the x values that have an associated y value. So that's the, the values from negative infinity up to negative 2, but notice we're not including the negative 2 because of the asymptote, and then from negative 2 to positive infinity. The range is similar except when we crush everything up against the y-axis, what ends up happening is we have the set of all values from negative infinity up to positive 2, but not including positive 2 because of the horizontal asymptote, and then the range from 2 to positive infinity.